Welcome to Nice Cans, I am Thomas Smurgle, and holy shit, it's hot in here. Fucking A. And the humidity today has been just extreme. It's been at least around 90 degrees. It's been thunderstorming all day, and usually I like a nice, cool thunderstorm. Not this fucking Florida bullshit. God damn it. Whew. Anyways, today in the meta world, and the shit I want to talk about, not much has happened today. It's been a very slow fucking day. Uh, Grindstufer, my buddy over there in uh, Columbia, Missouri, he is a badass behind the camera. He sets up, uh, he started with little shitty cameras and started recording bands, upgraded, doing dual drum cams now, works for Sick Drummer Magazine. Uh, his, his, his work just gets better and better, and he was recently at the uh, Full Terror Assault Festival, and he got a dual cam footage of Fulgora. Which is awesome because I missed them the day before, so I finally got a chance to see Fulgora in all their glory, but they were playing at the festival. So that was a very good video. Thank you, Grindstuffer Productions and Mr. Jeff himself. Today's win of the day is Broken Hope. Um, I was <laughs> didn't even know these guys existed until about two years ago. Uh, I saw them live. They kicked ass. I've been a big fan of them ever since. I even have one of those stupid-ass uh, sweatbands right here. And... Um, they're the band of the day. I linked the music video of the Flesh Mechanic where they, uh, they just, there's just gore, body, body parts everywhere. It's a really good gore, death metal type of music video. And, um, continuing on with news, uh, the last remaining members of Cynic will still do their headlining show at the Euroblast Fest in, uh, Cologne, Germany, or Colon, if you do not know how to pronounce it correctly. So Cynic are all about that colon Germany. Um, it's their only scheduled show they were able to salvage. So if you are looking forward to seeing Cynic perform at the Euroblast Festival, fear not, because they will be there October 3rd. And uh, the Black Dahlia Murder released an official video for Receipts. Haven't watched it yet. I'm kicking myself in the balls. But uh, I plan on jamming that motherfucker as soon as I get done with this that song and that album kick ass, and I highly suggest you buy it. It's actually streaming to everywhere. Just fucking Google the Black Dolly Murder Abysmal Stream, and it'll be there. Uh, Cranium's new album, Chronicles of Perversion, dropped today on Comatose Music, and I um, haven't been using them as the intro anymore. This computer is slow as fuck in processing a video takes about an hour. A five-minute video that takes about an hour to process. That's bullshit. I don't like it. So just adding the intro and outro for this nice can show and my reviews and shit, it it's like a two-and-a-half-hour process for a five-minute video. That's horseshit. I don't like it. So that's why I've just been doing these just, just straight to the video. So as soon as I get a better uh, setup, uh, I'll be able to process and edit some good footage for you and bring back the hardcore the heavy hitting music from cranium but um yeah I'll, I'll link my review below it's really fucking good i like that album a lot it's definitely it's slam brutal death metal and it's full of gore and murder and uh just really sadistic and it's awesome um <laughs> uh, let's see uh, jimmy hendrix passed away today um not not in 2015, but back in 1970. And, uh... Oh, I hope I got that date right. Or the people are gonna fucking slaughter me. But, uh... And Black Sabbath released their... Their classic album, uh... Paranoid, on this day today, on... In 1970. So, that record's 45 years old. That's been with me my entire life. And, uh... I, it's kind of hard to fathom how... Time just goes on. And yes, he died September 18th, 1970. So I was right. Thank God, because I would look like an asshole if I got that wrong. And uh, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, not really a bunch of news. A couple of updates. Um, another Black Dahlia tidbit. Metal Injection is running this thing where... Uh, Trevor from Black Dolly Murder, he goes and has this monthly uh, editorial on Metal Injection. And so this month he decided to talk about 29 underground death me recommendations, death metal recommendations for the month of September. Now, I, I couldn't agree more with some of these. I haven't heard of a couple of these, 
Um, and for God's sakes, the word abhorrent just keeps coming up. There's so many bands using that word now. Um, he mentions Abyssal. Um, that is a fucking awesome album. Uh, what else does he have listed here? Dead in the Manger. That was a pretty good one. Death Curse. Disgrace. That was a good one. Uh, Ghost Bath. Anybody who knows me knows that that's been one of my favorite black metal albums of the year. So hell yes for him mentioning Ghost Bath. Uh, Gravitational Distortion. That's a pretty decent album. If you're a big fan of uh, Abominable Putridity and Cranium, then you'll like that shit as well. Uh, Heathen. Haven. In in Absence of the Eternal. I mean, uh, Shaped by Aeolian Winds. Um, another excellent black metal album. I love those guys. Uh, he actually drops name drops Cranium because, oh my god, it's a good fucking album. Go buy it. It just came out today. Um, Macabre. Uh, they're a good band from St. Louis. I think it's St. Louis. That sounds about right because they're near uh, Tyranny and Throne. So if it's not St. Louis, it's probably some shithole band in Illinois. Or shithole city in Illinois. Drops the name Morbid Vomit. They are fucking intense. They have a Swedish style death metal. And so if you like uh, Entrails or uh, uh, Bloodbath, you'll definitely love what Morbid Vomit is doing. So check out this. He lists incredible bands. A lot of them I have heard of. Uh, Sulfur Aeon. There you go. Another good one. So that's all I have time for today. That's all there really was. It was a slow day. No no big time streams. No, Nothing really mentioned. Just a bunch of horse shit. So I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.